the Iron Goat Trail. Iron Goat Trail is 60 miles northeast of Seattle. It follows the upper and lower sections of the abandoned Great American Northern Railway grade. The completion of this railway crossing, the Cascades and Stevens Pass, played a significant role in the settling of the Pacific Northwest. <clears throat> in 1910, lightning strikes the mountains and causes an avalanche that swept two trains off the tracks and killed close to 100 people. It has been called one of the worst rail accidents in United States history. In 1929, a new eight-mile tunnel opened and the abandoned section became the Iron Goat Trail. The new section is still used today by Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad. The town of Wellington was renamed to Ty to try to distance the town from the tragedy. Paranormal happenings there. There have been claims uh, of people hearing disembodied voices echoing through the avalanche tunnel. Visitors also claim hands touch them and their hair will stand up for no reason. There's also these same reports near the old town of Wellington. Screaming Bridge in Butler County is a place that EAPS Paranormal has personally investigated. We've got a lot of strange noises and a couple light anomalies, um, orbs, things of that nature. There is a bunch of high-powered uh, electric lines that run through there, which could be causing some of the um, paranormal-type experiences there. Um, but we haven't been able to completely debunk everything. So here's the story uh, as it goes in relation to the disaster that happened at this area. This is the main one. In 1909, there was a steam train explosion of the New York Central Freight locomotive. Um, two engineers and a northbound uh, NYC freight were scalded to death back in 1909, so it would have been like 111 years ago as of today, which is uh, June 27, 2020. Several explanations have been offered for strange sounds and lights and periodic ghost sightings at the bridge on Maud Hughes Road between Princeton and Millican Roads. No one knows when it was first called the Screaming Bridge. The unofficial name may have become popular because it sounded like someone screaming when a vehicle passed over the original span, which it had grooves on its floor. Others say the screams are those that have died on or near the bridge. Some reports that a person was murdered there way over three decades ago. That claim in various versions was repeated for years before the body of a murdered female was actually discovered nearby along Princeton Road in the 70s. In the 80s, a teenager was shot to death near the bridge. Other older versions of the hauntings of the bridge relate to a mother that threw her child or children off the bridge, no one knows which, and they died on the tracks below. The bridge has also been the scene of some suicides and attempted suicides over the years. One of those unconfirmed instances involved a young woman who jumped off the bridge. Some visitors to the bridge, especially when the area was less populated, they saw ghostly figures beside the road and glowing red balls of light off the roadway. After the 1909 New York City explosion, members of the train crews passing the area and residents along the tracks reported seeing ghosts of one or more dead trainmen walking beside the railroad. They appeared to be warning of the dangers lurking on the line. Another tale is that ghosts represent a young couple that sought privacy for their intimacy under the bridge. Their trist ended in death when they were struck by a passing train. While traveling about 40 miles an hour, a steam locomotive exploded. An investigation revealed that the tender had been loaded with plenty of water before it left Ivydale in Cincinnati. Unknown to the crew, after a run 
of um, only about 11 to 12 miles, a leak had drained from under the water, causing an explosion. In 1909, the accident wasn't the only railroad fatality along the stretch of track. In 1976, Princeton Road overpass in Liberty Township, a Penn Central employee, a resident of Westchester, was killed when two rails protruding from the southbound warp train penetrated the cab of a northbound Penn Central diesel locomotive. As you can see, this area has a lot of um, stories and is also fraught with many different versions of the same thing that happened. It is definitely high on the radar for many paranormal groups to investigate because of the amount of evidence or lack of evidence that they seem to collect once entering this area. 